Hi Emma, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, thanks. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. I understand you've been having some symptoms that have been bothering you lately. Yes. Can you can you tell me about that? Um, well, I just moved into an uh, apartment mm -hmm. and um, it's the first time that I'm on my own and right. I, I kind of had heard that someone got robbed and ever since then I'm kind of nervous about um, my apartment getting robbed. Someone, someone was robbed near where you live? Yeah, um, someone in the same complex. Okay. So sometimes um, when I'm sleeping, I'll wake up mm -hmm. in the middle of the night and I'll think that I locked the door, is the door unlocked, and I, I can't fall back asleep. How long does it take you to fall back to sleep? Um, sometimes it takes maybe an hour or two. And what are you thinking about during that time? I'm just worried that I left the door unlocked and sometimes I'll hear sounds and I think maybe someone's in the apartment or I just, I get nervous. I just get scared that the door's unlocked. That sounds scary. Uh, and that, you say a couple hours you stay awake? Yeah. It's a while. Yeah. So this is, this is troubling for you. Have you ever gotten up and, and checked the door? No, I, I stay in bed and I just try to, I, but I just think about it. All right, so you just keep thinking about it. Does it get worse uh, as that time goes on or does it get better? What happens? It gets, it gets worse. Um, I mean, I, I try to fall back to sleep mm -hmm. and I, I stay in bed and I just think, you know, maybe I did leave the door unlocked and then I just keep thinking that maybe it isn't locked. So it kind of keeps cycling through the same. Yeah. Do you ever do anything to try to get those thoughts to go away, like focusing on something else? Um, well, I have like a, a ceiling fan mm -hmm. above me, so sometimes I'll just like count how many times it goes around and just um, try to distract myself from thinking about it, but I still think about the door being unlocked. Sometimes it helps. Alright, so you have, you have a fear that somebody is going to enter or break into where you live mm -hmm. and you're staying up at night thinking about whether the door has been secured. Right, that's, been, that's been troubling you. Anything else? Um, sometimes if I'm leaving for work I'll get to my car and I'll think I left the hair strainer on and right. I'll think to myself should I go back I don't know what to do and I'll just like kind of debate whether or not I should just go double check um, I'm just worried that if I left the straightener on something you know bad would happen what do you think might happen well I mean if I left the straightener on something you know it's if I have like clothes or something and it's it's on a cloth like that could burn or if it's um, I just don't want anything I don't want the place to burn down that's what I'm nervous about so uh, when you leave, you're thinking about it was a hair straightener. Yeah. You're thinking about whether you unplugged it or not, or turned it off or not. Yeah. And how long do those thoughts go on for? Um, well, normally I think about it before I get into my car, and I'll be like, well, maybe I should just go just to make sure I unplugged it, and I, I turned it off. Um, and then sometimes during the day. I'll be at work and I can't focus just because I'm thinking about I'll come back and I'll see you know my apartment burned down because I left the straightener plugged in. All right, so I remember with the door, you're saying that you uh, you struggle with those thoughts, but you don't get up and check the door. Mm -hmm. Have you ever come back and checked to see if something was left on? No, I I haven't, um, but I just I think about it. Like, what if I did leave it? if I did leave it on or plugged in. So you're worried, anxious? Yeah, yeah. Af afraid? Yeah, definitely, um, all three. And how, um, how often does this happen, like the cycle of thoughts? 
probably throughout the day. So every day? Every day, yeah. And how long has this been going on? Um, for ever since I moved, I guess, into the apartment. Um, so about, I guess, a year. This, this has been going on for a year? Yeah. And in that year time frame, has it become any worse? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It had. How did it start out? Um, it started out with just, you know, I would go to bed and I would wake up in the middle of the night and think to myself, did I, did I lock the door? I'm pretty sure I locked the door. And then I would just be fine. I could go back to sleep and be like, no, I remember I locked it. Um, but then as it progressed, I really, I would wake up multiple times throughout the night and I would, um, it would just keep me up. As you, as you thought about it. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, I want to ask you a few other questions to try to help me figure out what's going on. Have you ever been diagnosed with any condition, like a mental health condition? No. no. How about a medical condition? Um, no. Never? No. Um, have you ever used alcohol or any other substances? No. No? Okay. And has this been the first time in your life you've experienced these symptoms? Like starting a year ago up till now? Yeah. Never anything like this before? No. Right. Emma, I'm going to get you in to see one of our counselors here. Okay. I appreciate you spending this time with me. It's been helpful uh, for me to try to understand what's going on. Thank you. Right. Thanks, Emma.